Hey y'all, welcome to Vlogtober Day 9. I'm um, hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday. So I've been watching The Midnight Club. Don't worry about my fingernail. I hit it on the cabinet and it came off. It popped off. Whatever. I ain't put it back on yet. So I've been watching The Midnight Club. I watched the first five episodes. I didn't want to watch the whole series yet before I came to y'all with a video because I know that it might be some people that might be interested in watching it. And you don't necessarily want somebody that watched the whole you you might want somebody to just kind of you know dip the toe in and so i watched the first five episodes it's a 10 episode series so not really spoiler alerts no spoiler alerts i'll, I'll kind of dance around it so um i like it i do like it um it started off a little bit slow for me i feel like because I knew that the people who made this were the same people that I think they said they were the same people that made like the Blythe Manor movie, the uh, series and stuff like that. And I absolutely love that series. I I don't know. I When I see stuff that's made by people that made other stuff, I automatically assume that it's going to have like the same type of feel to it. And this one, to me, it does not. It's not given Blythe Manor. It wasn't supposed to, but it's not as creepy as i thought it was gonna be it's not scary like i thought it was gonna be either thus far now i still have five more episodes to go it might be a slow starter like breaking bad breaking bad was moving at a glacial pace for like three seasons but um what i do like about this is i do like that it has a bit of a dark type feel to it but it's not like super duper spooky i think because the children the people in the, in the show are supposed to be like young kids and i'm sure they're young adults in real life but anyway so the mo the the series what they do is like they come they all tell like spooky stories and stuff like that but it's actually like some paranormal stuff that's going on now that's not a spoiler alert because if you read about it i'm sure that'll tell you and you kind of get the gist of that from like the trailers and stuff like that but um i feel like in the in the beginning of it when i first started watching it i was a little bit confused about it because i hadn't necessarily i hadn't read about the, the i hadn't read the trailer or the like the little intro that netflix gives you so when i was watching it i'm like okay this is the midnight club i was expecting it to be like something spooky like a bunch of people get together and they like killing everybody at midnight and they just like a cult type thing but it's not that um, the premise of it, I'm really, really interested in what is to come. I kind of feel like it's definitely going to evolve into something where you're going to be wanting more. Because it's kind of, it's escalating a little bit up now. Because people are kind of just like, they're like, okay, well, you know what? Yeah, I ain't want to say nothing, but yeah, it's some stuff. Some stuff been going on too, but I just didn't want to say nothing because I want y'all to think I was crazy. Now, prediction-wise... Cause we're gonna keep this video short because that's that's what i'm trying to do now but my predictions are um i really think that um alanka is that her name which that is such a pretty name y'all i never heard her name like that before but i really like it i believe like alanka is going to end up being like the cult leader and i do feel like dr stanton is something going on with her she she give me creepy vibes she give me real creepy vibes Evans not Evans character what is his name he give me Evan Peters vibes the dude the, the y'all know who do, the dude I'm talking about the one who did the Kevin Kevin gives me Evan Peters vibes even though like when he's not telling the story that's not the, the the mood that he's in but when he be telling his story it be giving Evan Peters vibes and I'm like y'all could really see you being on some of that like outside of outside of the little stories that you be telling keeping it a trillion keeping it a trillion but yeah so i really like that it has like a creepy undertone but it's almost like stuff is going on and people are just not picking up on it but alanka came in and she's like listen i'm i'm here on a mission yeah i'm here on a mission but i feel like she's going my prediction is that she's gonna end up being like the leader for a lot of this, a lot of the creepy shit that might start going on. And it might be some, it might end up being like, now I ain't seen the rest of the episodes. It might end up being like some creepy paranormal stuff going on through her. You know what I'm saying? Like when they like jump in your body and they're going to be like, Alanka tripping. 
she tripping y'all and sis gotta go that's my pro those are some of my predictions that i think is gonna happen but so far i watched five episodes now when i tell you the first for me the first three episodes i was like mm. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it through the 10, but I'm committed now. I'm 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 in, I'm in episode five. I'm committed now for y'all. For y'all. I when I'm when I'm watching like spooky stuff, I like I love Blythe Manor. I like paranormal activity and stuff like that. A lot of stuff that like people are like, this has happened in real life. Not that the shows are, are like this has happened in real life, but like stuff where you can look and, and people have gone through that in real life. That kind of that's the type of like spooky stuff that i like to watch i'm not really into like gore and things like that but i do like things that are like mentally intriguing and i feel like this series is definitely mentally intriguing and i also feel like there's going to be like so much more to come the actresses and actors on this show are really great they're really really great a lot of them are some that i have never um seen before a couple of them you know they're from like different movies that you've seen before and stuff like that but the young kids cast i'm thinking i don't think i've seen any of them before i'm sure they've been the 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 black boy i don't know his name yeah i'm I'm one of them people i watch a whole damn series and won't catch on to their names to like two episodes before the season is over with but the black boy i feel like i've seen him in something else I don't know but yeah so i really like it so if you guys are interested in watching um the midnight club i will recommend it i'm five episodes and i'm gonna finish watching the season and then i'll be back with a full review and then it will be spoiler alerts in there because i ain't because then i'm gonna want to talk about it i'm gonna be ready to talk about it then then i'm gonna, be, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna want to chit chat about it but like for the halloween season and stuff people are like well i want to watch something spooky i feel like this would be something good to watch um do i feel like you could watch it with your kids i feel like you could watch it with your older kids i'm not really it's only kevin is the only one that i could really think of that really be like gory gory i guess you could say but the other ones the stories you know like, oh, okay maybe like older kids but not younger kids i don't really know the age range i'm gonna let you decide the maturity of your child to watch this it's not so far maybe i shouldn't say you could watch it with kids because i haven't watched the other five episodes but thus far the first five episodes like if you got older kids they should be fine I, it just wasn't it wasn't nothing that where i was just like oh my god these how old are these kids like nothing like that so yeah i'm interested in what else is to come with this series i am going to be finishing off and like i said i'll be back with a full review but thus far you guys i like it i don't think i was gonna like it. it does start off slow to me it started off slow i think because i was really expecting it to be something else than what it's actually turning out to be but i like the mystery of it i like the the inquisitiveness of it is that a word i'll be i'll be y'all know i'll be making no words y'all know y'all know i'll be making no words i do that sometimes but they're very inquisitive um alanka is very inquisitive she's very like i know why i'm here and y'all can't tell me that i'm not what i'm talking about is crazy y'all can't tell me that what i'm talking about is something that didn't happen or couldn't happen or won't happen i know why i'm here and i feel like dr stanton is hiding a lot that's another prediction i feel like she is hiding a lot she gives me creepy she gives me creepy vibes she hasn't done anything creepy but she's giving me she gives me creepy vibes she gives me vibes like she's hiding something and she knows more than what she's talking about um and that says a lot it's a lot to be it's a lot to be said about that so yeah i don't want this to be too long you guys i'm gonna go ahead and edit this because i'm trying to get my act together i do appreciate y'all um liking and commenting and subscribing i like that <laughs> i like all that y'all doing all the stuff i love thank y'all thank y'all y'all gonna love it here because i be i be chilling this this my chilling this my chilling L listen I'm a I'm a I'm a naked kind of girl and so when I when I do these videos sometimes I be like I'm not no I'm not I'm just gonna I'm gonna wrap it up and do what I need to do it's giving toga today y'all feeling that it's giving toga girl yeah I'm real comfortable real comfortable on this Sunday God.